G'day, Leon from Freelap Australia. Today we're going to look at the components of the Freelap Timing System. The Freelap Timing System allows you to go to lap and split times for any sport that requires speed and agility. The first component we're going to look at is the stopwatch. The stopwatch captures data for immediate review, allowing coaches to provide immediate feedback to their athletes and also stores the data so it can be downloaded and or viewed for post-workout analysis. In an athletic sense, the stopwatch is worn on the hip which prevents triggering the gates from an arm coming through. For snow ski, it's worn as an armband. And for your cycle sports, it comes with a bike mount. The stopwatch is triggered by various receivers, such as the TX Junior. The TX Junior works like a standard timing gate and triggers a split time once an athlete passes. You can set up as many TX Juniors to gather as many split times as you like. The next receiver we're going to look at is the TX Touch. The TX Touch starts the stopwatch as soon as the athlete releases a button. These are ideal for block starts or three point starts. If you prefer a standing start, then the TX Foot works in the same way as the TX Touch and triggers as soon as an athlete releases their foot. The TX 5105 is triggered when a coach presses a button. This is perfect for agility courses where the start and finish are at the same point or for starting multiple athletes and capturing reaction times in the overall time. This is giving you a brief rundown of some of the components of the free lap timing system. For more information, give me a call or leave your details and I'd love to chat to you about how the free lap timing system can benefit you and your athletes.